So a while back, the travel company Student Universe offered me the opportunity to travel all the way to Taiwan under the sponsorship of the Taiwan Tourism Board. But there was a catch. This is Taiwan. I would have to embark on a biking journey around the island, covering 900 kilometers in nine days. So ladies and gentlemen, it's day three of the bike race, and we just woke up. It's about like five in the morning right now, but look at our hotel. It is literally overlooking a mountain. I don't think anything can get more cooler than this. So me and my team hit the hot springs last night, so our legs should be fine for the day. But today is gonna be the most challenging day because we're gonna be conquering 125 kilometers. So there is a, there. There is this very- I know, Outside Island, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> there. Take it away. That's my first So this is our first destination, ladies and gents. As you can see, we're in the rice fields, and we got some mountain ranges in the back. The entire team's lined up to take like a photo sesh, and yeah, it's pretty dope. We'll get real We're making a pit stop over here, hey. and we kind of sh strayed away from our group, but it is so worth it. Guys, look at that. Look at this view. As the day progressed, we soon ran into some light showers, moistening the roads, which made biking a lot more dangerous. Very dangerous. It's currently raining. And we're trying to wait it out and take like a small little break. And somehow I got sunburnt on the second day. So that, that's another thing. Currently pre gaming our bike ride. We've turned it into a beer tour, beer bike tour. That's what we should look at it that way. We have like this weird pineapple beer that tastes oddly. What do you, what do you think of it? It's like juice to me. Fruity. She's already turning red, guys. <laughs> Despite the rain, we decided to push on past the Eurasian sea plate. So photogenic. We are by some mountains again, and this is a lake that we stopped at, and we're almost headed to lunch, getting some stretching in. I'm starting to feel it now, I think. <laughs> How about you? Yo, Daphne, I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm dying right now. <laughs> we ended the day's rally biking through the mountains, covering over 125 kilometers. But little that we knew, tomorrow would be our hardest challenge yet. Guys, this is our new room for tonight. The five-star luxury hotel looking at. I got my roommate over there. Dude, this, this place is just like a mate. These places just get better and better. We got a view of the mountains over there. We got a flat screen TV over here. We got a beautiful stripper right over here. All right, it's been a long day. Like, my, both my arms are sunburnt. My shoulders are sunburnt. My neck is sunburnt. My eyes are sunburnt. We're about to go hop in this pool. 
and um, I'm possibly just gonna go drown myself real quick because I can't feel my legs anymore and like what what are my feet right guys check this out guys this is the sauna where I'm going to probably skinny dip in and over there is a pool which I'm gonna skinny dip in again I'm on an island Surrounded by mountains, at a pool, <laughs> with palm trees. He just went into the lady's sauna. Good job, dude. How, what do you got? What do you have to say to yourself? There was no woman in there. I just had the side outside, so I didn't know. Just a big fat L on his forehead. Just That's for every L, day. L for ladies, man. <laughs> All right. This pool. This, okay, keep in mind, guys, that this is the middle of the school year. And we're in an Asian country somehow, oh, so and this is lit. <laughs> is that what she the music, the music feels like some she... like market, like the. What up, guys? It's day four of the race. Today we're actually going to be biking up a mountain for about 12 kilometers. So. My entire team has that to look up, look forward to. I'm gonna go grab breakfast now, and then we're gonna hit the road once again and destroy this challenge. Or like, you know, have our legs give out on us and like fall down the mountain. Same thing, right? So ladies and gentlemen, this is our route for today. We're trying to get from Zabin to Chichang and these are all of the inclines we'll have to face and this one's gonna be the hardest one and none of us are looking forward to this but after this it's all downhill from there what's up Steve how are you feeling about this itinerary I feel like I got melons for knees <laughs> I don't know if I can bend them <laughs> we'll see although this was the hardest part of the race we were not expecting what lied ahead of us. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. On the mountain, how do you like the view? Is this real? And where are we? A very beautiful hell. <laughs> Lands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on and on we'll go Welcome to Jurassic Park Bing. Oh Man, look at those though. Look at those man down, man down. Yeah. Guys. Oh. oh. He's got one arm up. This, this race, it ain't no joke, guys. Like, this is dangerous stuff. We were able to patch up Irving and begin our ascend into the mountains. We're currently biking up this mountain, and it's only the start of the trail. And I think I'm dying. 12 kilometers, bro. 12 kilometers uphill. <laughs> it's over for me. Daphne, drag me the rest of the way. Ah. Uh. As we continued up the mountain, the bike lane got narrower and narrower and increasingly more dangerous. My lane, the car lane. Although, after much pain, we were able to conquer the entire mountain. We made it! Forget cloud nine. We're on cloud ten, baby! Yeah! <laughs> when we made it to
get to the top, we were able to take in all the scenic views and ride the downhill all the way to our next checkpoint, conquering the hardest day in the race. We made it! Once again, Aya's throwing us up in like the nicest hotels ever. In the middle of nowhere, I guess. Nope, middle of nowhere. This place is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. No. Awesome. Like this palace in the middle of nowhere. I feel like I'm in New England. Let's check out these rooms. Welcome to MTV. I'm your host, Eric Wynn. And now we are back, back in black with the five star hotels. Look at this. Look at this, double beds. Now, over here, we have a flat screen TV. Throwing it in with the nice view, if I can open it. Hey. Hey, what's up, dude? 